and hello everybody, welcome to Crash Bandicoot. Yep, this is my next LP. Basically, I'm redoing the first playthroughs I've ever done. I thought they deserved a little more attention, like last time, which I also did Crash Bandicoot 3, but now I'm going to also do the first and the second one yet again, and we get our Naughty Dog with our lovely dog bark. It's pretty amazing. And now we get to see our hero, Crash himself. Um, yeah, this is kind of a bit laggy emulator, but it doesn't really matter. It's discuss about the gameplay, isn't it? Yeah, it does. And about the commentary. And I believe there's an opening cutscene right soon. So, that I'll keep my mouth shut and you will get to listen to the cutscene. Which I'm not going to use subtitles. And here's the cutscene. So, let's roll. But Dr. Cortex, we have not determined the cause of past failures. Moral! <laughs> this bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the vortex! But Dr. Cortex, the vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again! Capture him! Uh oh! Prepare the female bandicoot. And that's it. Yep. Seems Ton, I believe. Is captured by Dr. N. I already forgot his name. That's pretty much a shame, isn't it? Okay, Dr. Cortex and Embryo. Yeah, there we go. So, um, as usual, I will go for 100%. Which is going to be much more difficult in this game than any other of them. Because in this, if you want to do 100% stuff, you got to play the game and don't die whilst playing the level. It's going to be very interesting considering my failures in the past. And not a bit of a cut. Wait, like I used to do. Some kind of got away when I have massive failures. So, basically, base controls to jump and I believe circle or square is to spin and that's all you basically need. So I have to go over here and spin the crap out of them. And where I get to believe Uka Uka. Get three of them and get invincibility for a few seconds. Get all the box in the level without dying. We'll get a gem. And with all the gems you can get to the final ending. Okay this trick is kinda this trick is kind of tricky. Of course, it's a trick, tricky, trick, trick, tricky, trick, 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 trick. Very tricky, tricky, trick, trickity, trick. Shut up. I can't. It's so difficult. Right here. Don't oh, missed it. Oh, I'll look at them later. Basically, right here. Yeah. Yeah, go walk over the boxes. I'm too early. No. Oh. And that is basically why I shall not be doing this for the whole time. And we'll cut a lot. Probably to the parts where I do get the it right. Probably showing you level up once and then or show you Yeah, I'm not gonna gonna do. I'm gonna play through the level I like normal. And yeah, after a certain part if I die, which is likely gonna happen a lot. If I die in a certain part I will cut to the part. I do it. I go to level again off screen, go to the restaurant part, and start recording again. So basically, you can just see the whole thing without me fending like 40 freaking times in one probably over 40 hours. And that is not good. So, what we want to do is this is just the preview. I'm not going to do this in the entire LP, just for the first level. I hope. And for some of you, you can't get all the boxes yet because you need something special. Color gems. So, yeah, you really need to time this just right. Right now. I think I've got it. Yep, perfect. So, now, basically, the only thing we need to do is think of this box and then we're done. But I am not sure. And this is the bit where I oh, thank god I didn't want to do the exit. Just yet. 
Okay, I'm not gonna take it easy. I said I was gonna take it easy. But no, you have to interrupt me. Just do a little prick. That's a robot. Or a other robot. Okay, there's the end. Good. Now, the only main concern is right over here that I don't die at the end. How much do you want to be like die at the end? How much? One, two coins, rubies, rings, uh, apples. Nope, I, I live. Haha, <laughs> you failed. I win. And when you get them all, you will get yourself a victory screen. Perfect. And a percentage of completeness. Which is 1% right now. So, I shall save right. Oh, we need a couple of save files. Uh, override the third one. Because we like three. Override three. Three is a happy number of this LP. Three. Three happy numbers. Yay! So, I'm about to. I think this is the one you can't get it just yet. I'm, sh I'm not sure, but. Oh, I'll just. Start, dude. I'll just. Out of work soon. Hey, you can see me because I'm on top. Well, you can basically see me because you see box box. And. Um, turn TNT. Do not spin TNT. It hurts. Bad. And some of the audio is kind of glitched out. Not not much of a problem. You can basically hear the music and a couple of items like boxes and scouts. Boy scouts. We do not like you. We just not like you. I try to fix this for the next bit, I, don't know, I hope. Next part bit. So voila. There's a running stone basically. What have we got? Yep. Make any search of any running stone pun over here and I'm gonna fall on this wall. Okay, not. I'm not. Good. Because I was planning to. You see, there's a. Sorry, I'm colorblind, so I can't really tell what gem it is. I believe it's the green one. We need the green gem for this bit if we want to completely score 100%. And those are Tana bonuses. Basically, some extra bonus. And if you get all three of them, you start at the bonus level. If you go through the bonus level and complete it, you can save. So basically, it's. That was lucky. <laughs> okay. Ooh, go. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. So that's basically my next copy. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This. Okay, good. I'm. Uh, I'm not sure if I will do the second one directly after the first one, like I did with Portal. Ooh, portal. But I'll see. Let's just sort of see how this goes. That's a start. So you get our first one as level. It's very difficult. See this box, and you can go forward and backwards. So don't mess around with the controls. They already the back too much. Or with the keys, whatever, if you're playing an emulator, emulator, or park. There's Sana, I don't get safe. 3% complete. So if you already select a save file, you can just update it. It will update the certain save file, and we can proceed. 32 levels, and me playing. That should be about uh, like. Um, how much was it? Yeah, delete the play playthrough. That was. I thought I was getting hit right there. And the playthroughs probably was like 16 parts, but with a lot of cutting. I think it's going to be a lot of cutting here as well, so I will guess around maybe 20 parts for this game. The second one's going to be much easier because you can die in that game. I'm not planning to die that, but you can at least die in that game. And I'll try to keep my parts around 15 slash 20 minutes. So I'm about to restart the great gate, which we also cannot complete with odd boxes. We can just basically just get them all if you want to right now. Go up, jump, and then get another mask. What have we got? Mask. Lots of masks. Anyway, once you play this game a few times, I actually played this when I was young on the original PlayStation, and I got the original disc because when I was younger, I also used illegal discs. Back then, I even was illegal. Could you mind? Can you see how grow how grown up I've gotten? Yeah. And checkpoints. Basically says what it does. You die. You start over there. Monkey. I don't know, he comes kill me. Sounds like you monkey. Monkey from the SA2 one. Because that's also a prick monkey. It doesn't hurt you when you're in your awesome invincible form. And those guys won't let you either. So basically, you can just go 
will run through this and I suggest you stand over there because there is a high chance you will fall off with a 30% percentage of clouds and sunny weather. So in tomorrow the weather is going to be death followed by pain. So that's the broadcast for today and there's going to be fire and I survived that and survived that as well. I'm very am amused with that as well but I'm very amazed that I haven't got hit a single time over there. Well, the LP is not over yet, it's just the first part, so many things can go wrong. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. There was a Zeus party? Okay, good. And basically those uh, bounce boxes. I think they take three... Don't. Don't dare, don't dare. Okay, good. Those take three hits to fall, uh, to break, so... So it gets a shoot out of lives at the beginning. I'll give you a handful of them, just... Don't throw them away at one part. Like I normally do, throw like 20 lives away, but I'm not going to do that because I can. And I think my microphone is still too loud in this part, but I really told it it's going to be at 50% 50 50 of the microphone, not the full arm size. And this is not going to be nice, I thought so. And there's the end already. Well, that was kind of useless, would you say? Yeah, that was kind of useless. But okay, let's see what we got. We missed. A shootload of boxes. Over seven boxes. Over seven boxes? It's an overused meme. Not really overused, but over 9,000. A lot of these are pretty much overused. Uh, anyways, let's go to borders. I think this is one in the Indiana Crash level, which we also saw in the Crash Link 3, which we got chased by dinosaurs. But this time we get to get chased Indiana Jones style. With a giant ball there. Isn't that fun? No, it isn't. It's not fun. I mean, seriously, there's a giant ball chasing you. You should be get the heck out of there. That is not fun. And they shouldn't try it at home either. If you have, like, a giant boulder lying around your house or apartment or flat or villa, whatever, I don't suggest you push it and go stand in front of it and then run, like any other jokes. And you can, you can have a cave and everything, all but... I suggest you do not try it at home. Another lesson learned from your lovely host. There we go. So, don't blame me when there are houses smashed because of this LP. Don't blame me. Don't come crying at my door. And I got squished because I took way too long at this bit. Well, I don't believe you can get them here at the same part either. If so, I will do it in the next part. Because we are pretty close to finishing this part. Because we are 13 minutes in. And I will stop the rocket. It was not such a good idea. And it bounced over the box twice. And I got crushed twice. Not two times in a row. Like NCS. Two times in a row. Nope. Basically, just good old squishing. Getting squashed. Squashed? Getting squashed. Yes. Anyways, just more depth. And I want that one. That's what I want a little bit. That's the one I want. This is the part where I got squished. I do not want it again. That is not just a good idea. For some reason, the ball is catching up with me, isn't it? It looks like it's catching up. And for some reason, I think I could have done gotten this without that. Oh, awesome. Hmm. Let me try that again. This shouldn't be that hard. Boys, let's try that again. I know we can beat this without dying. It's not difficult. But why am I failing? That's the real question over here. I think I already died three times. I should really keep up a counter how many times I will die this LP. You know, it's actually a fun thing. Just get up a counter and see how much I die. So, by the time you've seen this, I think I'm already at three. So, that's good. That, that's not good. Uh, I'd like to keep it as low as possible. But, there will be counter. Which is our additional ping noise when I die. Because that is fun. Because that is hilarious. HILARIOUS INDEED! I think I'm at the same point like last time. But now actually I know what to do. So that's our good thing. So now we know how not to get squished by boulders. This is a good thing. So, voila. 
I think also top after the base part. That was basically good introduction to this LP. Two crash money goods. And some silly shenanigans coming up soon. And I probably shouldn't have jumped over there, it doesn't really matter because we're close to the end the ball is really catching up to me. I'm getting nervous right now. Okay, good. That's the end, and voila! Hot boulder you fell. Okay, anyway. And we've made it to the end, and we got all the boxes, I believe, so we get another GM. You've got a GM two. Now got nine percentage of complete, so you'll basically say, oh, this part will be done in like ten parts. No, I am not that good. I'm really not that good in this game. So, um I think this will do for this part. So in the next part we are going to start off stream. And we'll see some more silly shenanigans for crash money. Always fun, isn't it? Yes, it always is fun. So thank you for watching. This is your lovely Azubis Sonic signing off. See you then and see you at the next part.